Hello and welcome to What Culture Gaming. A3 week is continuing and we finally amassed the boys together to cover <laughs> Sony's conference because there is a lot to cover and I need... Boys? You guys in with me because I don't even know where to begin. The largest lads. The largest lads. The largest <laughs> you know what? Usually I'm the tallest person in these videos, but you both are I standing just, back here. I'm the for it and up. I don't really know where to begin because obviously Sony have already announced so much stuff yeah. that's confirmed to show up and they've got some a few surprises. Even yeah, as so. we talk about this now, they're releasing another, teasing another game today. Yeah, they've so got a... you do what you can. Three games to announce before the conference even yeah. begins yeah. with yeah. VR support, which is awesome. But it's yeah. a great ploy by Sony to basically put the nail in the coffin in their eyes to Microsoft by basically just saying like, look, you <laughs> don't have as much content as we do. We yeah. get all of the first party games, we get all of the developers on our side, we have the VR stuff. We have this. It da, is. Da, 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 da. It's, it's relentless it is, at the moment. That's the thing. It's a relentless assault by Sony, and I think that they want to come out of this year's E3 looking not just oh having edged out a victory, but having destroyed. Oh god, yeah. Because 100%. obviously, if they're going to use this good credibility to launch the PS5, they need to have all mm. the support going into it. So true. It makes sense. True. True. To run down some big hitters. Well, of course, we've got Death Stranding, who is mm. going to show up in some form. Will it be a trailer? Will it no, be gameplay? It'll be gameplay. No, no, no it won't be. It'll, it'll, be, be. it'll absolutely no, be gameplay. I, I absolutely refute that. It will, should we bet? It, it will not be gameplay. I will bet you. Slightest. It will be a tech demo at best. Nah, it'll be, it'll be gameplay and it'll be. The reason it'll be gameplay is because they already got on board with the Horizon Zero Dawn Decima engine. We've already seen the cutscenes rendered in in game engine. In game engine. So yeah. I think there's a, there's enough for a little vertical slicey thing. I mean, to show us uh, what it's going to it, be. I mean, Hideo Kojima's never teased out a game. <laughs> I, I mean, you're totally right. I'm I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's lied to the fans and the whole world, but he's always done. He's done gameplay demos. Raiden was in a gameplay I would, demo. I would say if we're gonna go in the whole fantasy train, that Death Stranding will be announced, and then sorry, we'll see a bit more of it. It will be trailer, and it yes. will look like it's gonna lead into gameplay, and then he'll come on stage and be like. There's going to be an hour prelude. Uh, <laughs> uh, Put them through that. Yeah, yeah. Just not to worry. You know what? Yeah. As, as much as I don't want to uh, admit it, I'm with you, Jules, because as, as, as long as this game has been announced, and we've seen it so often over the past few years. We've seen three big trailers, and the last one was like 10 minutes long. Yeah. This game is still early doors, man. Yeah. No matter totally. how good the engine is. Totally. We have known about this game since it was an idea in Hideo Kojima's brain, right? True. Yeah. Since that moment. True. It, we, where are we now? But <laughs> No, I know, but and they've said that it's not going to come for years, but Kodge himself also said that he's already has already got a workable model of the game going. Well, Whether he means like <laughs> no, but he means like skeletally. So it's just like yeah. throw some textures on. At least tell tell <sighs> the masses what it's going to be. No, but that's the thing. The point is that Hideo Kojima is a perfectionist. He's not going to let this go out unless oh, it will. is ready. It's not going to be just slap bangs and textures on it. You don't want a whole watchdog scenario. Two words, on. Ground Zeroes. That happened. It got out there. It, it certainly did. It's, that was. It's, uh, it's going to be a thing. It's going to be, I, I'll bet the populace it'll be a thing. I, the one thing that adds credence Who'll to be uh, gameplay being there is, of course, Sony have said that their conference, as a change of pace, will be mostly gameplay focused. Uh, and yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah, they yeah, said yeah. Death Stranding was one of their main pillars of the show. Why are you going to pillar it if it's going to be a trailer? I'm, I d would rather have my expectations low to be impressed. That's all I'm yeah. saying. I'll go in with my dreams not being dreams and it can be real. <laughs> okay, man. Oh, either way, right, the, the rest of the pillars. There's a lot of gameplay to show, yeah. like in Spider-Man, mm -hmm. uh, Ghost of Tsushima, mm -hmm. and of course, there is another one that I'm forgetting right Last now. Last of Us 2. Last of Us 2, yes. Oh yeah, that that biggie. I'm, Let's do Last of Us. I'm very keen for this. I think we all are. It's been, it's been a long, long wait. I cannot wait to see more about how they're going to set up the narrative of this mm -hmm. story. Because, mm -hmm. let's face it, everyone plays that game for the narrative. The combat yes. section is probably the weakest part of the entire game. It probably still is. still solid, but I know it's what you mean. still solid, but they yeah. are technically the weakest bit. So I'm looking forward to see where they're setting this, who's going to be like sort of the main thrust of it. Mm -hmm. Are we even going to have the dynamic between Joel and Ellie, or is it going to be moving into something else, mm -hmm. which it does look like it from we, the previous teasers. Uh, you can check us out. It's what your first video was uh, fan theories for The yeah. Last of Us mm -hmm. 2. And there are other things that you can point to that Neil Druckmann himself has teased as to the fact that the woman that was in the original teaser is yeah. Ellie's mum, yeah. and she's coming up to challenge Joel's idea of parenthood, and that's going to be a thing, and that Ellie's going to be a playable character. I things hope like that. to Christ that there is not a love story between Joel and Ellie's mum oh. in that sense. As long as you didn't Joel and Ellie. I don't want that. 
Don't want a Giulianelli oh, romance. God, no. Of course, Good. Yeah. Just God, don't. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Leave that to the dark way. Oh, I yeah, because you... com- all the comments you commentaries you do are always completely <laughs> tasteful and don't go there at all. <laughs> Pardon a, me uh, for living there. I'm a consummate professional. That's very you. true, but some of you, someone's got to refine this every now and then. <laughs> I disagree with you there, Jules. I don't Fair think enough. we're going to get some story because what they've shown so far were two very... Uh, different glimpses at, at yeah. the narrative itself. We saw mm-hmm. Alien Joel and we saw a trailer without them at all. Yeah. And I think this is going to be sort of their big gameplay blowout where they say like, oh, this is what you'll be doing. And the then, story still so. And then the big twist is it just goes, Left 4 Dead 3. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how they're going to do it. It's days gone. Le- yeah, Left 4 like, Dead days gone. God. Will, summer blowout. will we get a release date for this? Uh, no. No, they, I don't think they'll, so. They'll, they'll, they'll keep it extremely soft because they want to have this as being, they know that the power of a release date mm. Isn't it's it's not any details on Last of Us Two are going to be whipping people up into a frenzy. They could save this for a later date mm-hmm. and then release it, and everyone's like, "Oh, brilliant!" And then they get people talking about it again. Yeah. It's a oh, great man. way to ride the hype wave. I think it's one of those things where they, they I can't think of the magazine they did an interview for, but they they were asked about gameplay details, and they said yeah. it's a slightly more open world. It's they're taking it's the same way that the suburb level in Last of Us was like this bigger yeah. thing. Yeah. Seems like that's the direction that they're going with it. I worry so much about the words "open world" and a tightly focused narrative game. I same, but I think that Naughty Dog have pioneered the whole. It hasn't had a proper name yet, but linear open world, like what they had in Uncharted, where you've got that these, these wider levels that then come back together again. I yeah. think that's what they'll do. I think I, I didn't play much of it, but the Lost Legacy even expanded that more. Best Uncharted game next to Uncharted 2. I've never played it. Oh, I, it's I would phenomenal. Love it. It's yeah. so good and tight and well told. It's amazing. So if, if this doesn't get an actual release date, Sony needs something for the holidays because after all, uh, Days Gone got pushed. I'm sure we'll see that again, but that's 2019 now. Mm. Yeah. What will they have to sort of fill that gap, if anything? Bloodborne 2. <laughs> oh, oh, that is, I the, hope Christmas, you're right. that, that okay, is the, that's, the Christmas game that everyone the Christmas, <laughs> the Christmas goose. That's that's the thing. That's another thing that's worth debating because from software have obviously teased the thing that said Shadows yeah. Die Twice. Everyone thought it was going to be Tenchu, or at least I did, because that's what a boss said. And Tenchu doesn't matter though because they're more recently confirmed that the stuff in the background, the kanji symbols, belong to an old PS2 game called Kuon. So it seems like they're at least one of their games is a follow-up to Kuon. It's a horror game, and there was another leak that said it wasn't going to be Souls adjacent, which lines up again because Kuon was a fixed perspective Resident Evil style. Hill style thing. Could All I'll say is, go on. If they could make this like the Onimusha games, oh, the Onimusha combat system oh. was so good. Onimusha in general was absolutely stellar. Where's that Apart franchise from gone? The weird battle Not, royale. Um, oh, forget did, that. Did you remember they did yeah. that? It's like a Smash Brothers. Would, yeah. They did an Onimusha Smash Brothers. It's going in a list. Isn't yeah, it's, it's, right? it's yeah. awful. I would yeah. get rid of on- Onimusha four as well. But one to three, ending on the Jean Reno one was mm-hmm. just like was immaculate. I would, I'd happily have them bring that back. Yeah, so but it they, seems like yeah. They, Maybe there's a combination between those two. I, I would love it. I mean, it seems like FromSoft have two games in the works because uh-huh. Bloodborne 2's been, like, talked about for ages. You can look online, all sorts of rumours back either one of them up. Um, in terms of an official thing, Kuon lines up with their teaser. Yep. Um, but it would be kind of madness to not follow Bloodborne up at some point. So whether exactly. you tease that or reveal yeah. it. I yeah. don't think the Kuon uh, project, or should I die twice, impacts Bloodborne's chances no. of being announced because I'm sure from <laughs> Software is spearheading that project as their own, like, next big thing to Souls. Mm-hmm. But they weren't the only studio who worked yeah. on Bloodborne, it was uh, a Sony studio, I, I think it was Sony Japan, right. uh, who also worked on um, Demon Souls, the original Demon yeah. Souls. So they they know this franchise and this style of game inside and out. So for me, Sony could have put them to work on Bloodborne 2 to spearhead it with input from From yeah. Software to make yeah. sure you get everything correct. But we all know what happened when they did that before Dark Souls yes, 2, exactly which that. let's, let's admit true. is the weakest one yeah. out of the entire And that was without series. Hidetaka Miyazaki. So However, I, Scholar yeah. of the First Sin, definitely worth a try. True. Uh, I think he then came back and oversaw it as a more like, so. producer role. Some Thing, which he was I meant think. to have, but whatever. But yeah, I mean, there's there's a way to do them both. I don't think they would hand their baby over to Sony, but they right. might. I mean, I, did, I guess I'd be waiting I, to see. I don't know if they'd have a choice. Maybe when like they sign the exclusive, <laughs> yeah, like they, 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 Sony. Yes, Sony usually owns like the IP mm. rather than the studios who make the game. So they might yeah. just be like, well, if you don't want to do it, we'll do it. We've got the team. They have the experience. We will take your child. We will so give it to it. us now. Yeah. It's, it's why you see Bloodborne and really weird stuff. It's like why you've mm. got like Bloodborne mugs and stuff like that. Like I'm sure the, <laughs> sure the, the uh, direct the creative director is probably like, uh. uh Mm, doesn't really fit the tone. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if the mug stabs you like, like, while you drink from it... Just, as long yeah. as you don't get like a Hunter plush, I guess they haven't gone too far. But then again, I might buy a Hunter plush. I was about plush. to say, I would, I would actually Transforming weapon plush? Yeah, I'll actually do that. Yeah, forget everything I just said. Yeah. Bring, on, bring on the sonification of From Software franchises. Let's talk about on uh, and sort of getting your franchise out uh, there and talk about Spider-Man because obviously yes. the PS4 Spider-Man is coming out and it looks insanely good. Uh, maybe a bit quick time heavy for my liking from the stuff we've seen before, but that will be announced and no announced there'll be more
the details. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I've, I've just realized, I've just, I just asked you two what are they going to have this fall. They have Spider-Man. They yeah. don't really yes. need anything else. We, anything else could be 2019. They, this, that, this can, oh, I think it'll, it looks it'll pretty sell solid. like hotcakes either way. Mm. This is going to be, I think this might be the best Spider-Man game in like the past 10 years. Oh, you would say that. Well, there's I, only Web of Shadows. No, it's very true. I like Web of Shadows a lot. There's I also mean, Shadow Dimensions and stuff like that. But oh, Shadow Dimensions. Edge of Time. Yeah, that had a pretty cool yeah. idea. I like the, the steampunky style. Uh, Spider-Man yeah. Noir, yeah. yeah Shadow cool. Dimensions I liked a lot. It's yeah, just right. It wasn't the same style of game. It was more of like an action thingy. But um, if the rumors are true that um, Avengers Ultimate Alliance is also coming, which is yeah. possibly going to be at Square Enix's conference. We spoke about that earlier in a yeah. previous video of this. And it looks, if it, it falls follows the suit of the first two games, that will be a brilliant thing. I think they would let Square have the big bulk of it, but I think if they, because if if it's true and Spidey's pioneering the idea of a Marvel Marvel gaming yeah. universe, then they'll probably tease it at the end yeah. and be like, he, he's part of this, because he has to be if they're doing a shared universe thing. Sure. It's true, but I, I, if, if it is shown, I don't think that will be exclusive to Sony, because I, I imagine, and this isn't confirmed, but I imagine they got the exclusivity to Spider-Man mm-hmm. thanks to the deal between the other Sony studio and Marvel yeah. themselves yeah. to like share the characters. I right. think that's why that's only coming out on PS4, Ooh. as opposed to the other Marvel games, which are entirely like, yeah. they, are, they are actually owned by Marvel. Yes, very true. Uh, coming up next is, oh, there Ooh. is one big remake slash remaster in production by Blue Point Games and oh. Sony arriving oh, wait, on what? nostalgia. Yeah, Blue no Point? one knows. They got oh, a new nice game. Oh, okay. A lot right. of people are saying it might be Siphon Filter. I don't think that's big enough. When you said Blue Point, did you mean Ben? I mean, no, I mean uh, oh, Blue Point. Blue Point are the PUBG chaps. Oh, no, Bl- Blue Hole are the PUBG chaps. Oh, God. Blue, Blue Point are the guys who did uh, the Uncharted trilogy and the Shadow of the Colossus remaster. Okay. So oh, like a yeah. So they might be. Oh, you might want to so edit around. They're going to do another me. remaster. No, no, no. Yeah. So, we'll, so we'll do another remaster on that, but we have no idea. No idea. They I just mean, said. The, yeah. re, the remaster that everyone is talking about, though, is going to be Spyro. Exactly. Yes. That's going to be there, but that isn't anything to do with them. No, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's it. Fingers crossed. I mean, why don't we just pluck our favourite obscure mm-hmm. PS2 title out and see if it will happen? My money's on God Hand. I want Bishy Bashy Special. What, I mean, what, that can't be real. No, it's, it's a real. It's, 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 it's Bishy real. Is, is fantastic. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, like, right. it's like the precursor almost to like WarioWare. It was yeah, like right. it's like tons of mini games that are just so stupid. It's like. Hey. <laughs> and then it was like 30 seconds to be like crazy. There's the one where you've got to power up and throw a bride into the like the, yeah. all the stands no, no, of their no, wedding. No, no, not throwing the bride. The bride throws a cake. Yes, there sorry. There's a yes. big distinction there. It's been 20 years, but yes, it was that you thing. You really couldn't be having my life, but if the if, no, it's if, real. The, if the, the lights go down and he goes one more thing and then yeah. announce this, I'll be hyped. If, if he comes out and he goes, oh, <laughs> and you'll be like, bushy, bushy. I would be so game. Yeah. And it would be perfect, especially online, man. Get yeah. that going. Yeah. Yeah. Bollocks to your medieval. I don't even need I it. guess the very last things to talk about are some potential leaks that just happened oh, yes. before yes. we're recording yeah, this ones. about the new Bioshock and if I'm getting this right, SOCOM? Yeah, so coalition. let's do Bioshock this first because it's Jules' favourite thing. Ooh, yes. Apparently the name is Bioshock Resurgence Yeah. Um, and it's part of the photograph docket of Sony's conference which we can't verify at all but if it's real okay. it means Bioshock is about to be shown. Okay, so plus points Go immediately. On. Another Bioshock game. Negative points, not set on the moon, which is where he said that he would like to have the final game. Mr. Levine's not involved anymore. I know, he's not involved, yeah. But that means that worries me because obviously it's going to be a case of the narrative drive of Bioshock was one of the most important things about yep. it. Again, the gameplay was kind of took a back seat. You didn't really need it as much. I enjoyed up. Bioshock Infinite the least out of all of the three games. Mm. And I would love to see them ditch anything to do with that and maybe ditch anything trying to tie together to the original games yep. and just have a new Bioshock thing set in a different place. There was a whole load of design docs for the first Bioshock way back when. They were all meant to be set amongst this like uh, facility on a specific island and you would get like plant yeah. powers and it was yeah. all it was more like more um like bio- bio- blah, 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 blah. biological 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 botanicals the word I wanted yeah. uh, botanically themed and they sort of ditched that and went into water and all that yeah. kind of thing. If they're going to do a completely different pivot on it then yeah it could go back to something like that. They have unused stuff from Levine. So. What if one of the original uh, unused concepts was uh, set in the 70s and it was going to be a kind of sort of like like uh, jumping on the back at the beginning of the Cold War and it was like all of the panic that spread from that. Kind of like That's a cool. fallout sort of thing of people retreating to these uh, locations outside. That was a very, very brief snippet that one of the developers put way back where as a pitched idea. Okay. Never took off. I would love to see that. that. I mean, we know that it's in development because um, I keep going back to Kisaku, but it's because Jason Schreier is so connected. One yeah. of his other write-ups confirmed that Bioshock was happening in the studio. What was the one he was oh, already yeah, yeah. yeah, it was um, Hangar 18. Oh, Hangar 18. Yeah. Yeah. Hangar, yeah, he was talking about the future of the yes. Hangar 18 guys, Mafia 3, and what's going to happen with them. And he just nonchalantly put in his right up oh it was next door to where the new Bioshock's yeah. being yeah. made and it's like, alright then yeah and it was like I think we covered we that did, yeah, and we did I, yeah and I think we had said the thing which was 
if I was there and I knew that Bioshock, I'd be like, screw this, yeah. this. I'm sorry, Mr. Man, that I'm meant to be interviewing. I'm going to check out this. Just a jewel shaped hole in the wall yeah. as you like run straight I, through. That, so, <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell me everything. Yeah. This is the distinction for me, though, because we know that a new Bioshock is in development, but I don't know how much credence I give to like these memo leaks because there have been uh, loads yeah, of yeah, them yeah, in the yeah, run up. Yeah, true. And they oh, God. Yeah, anyone can have yeah. access to a printer, anyone exactly. can fake a thing. I mean, there's, we could been, fake one. there's been so many joke ones, and my favorite one of all time has been the one that you were like, just know, which was on one side it had Croc from Croc, <laughs> and on the other side it had Gex, Mate, and I it said like, Valve in the I wanted to believe that so much, because we know Valve are getting back into the games, and I was like, what if they've resurrected Gex and Croc? And I looked for a second, it's, I was like, Gex is so good! <laughs> And then Get enter the gecko again. Like, yeah, bring it back. The yeah. only other thing on this leak was SOCOM Coalition. SOCOM yeah. died off like 10 years ago, but, but for a time it was brilliant. so good. It's bloody brilliant. But one of the only games where voice controls actually worked, mm-hmm. where you could say, like, go there, fire on will, or whatever the hell yeah. it was, and yeah. it worked. I, I used to like SOCOM. Yeah, for me, this gets uh, bundled in with the likes of Siphon Filter, where there was a lot of, you know, uh, fondness for it back in the day, but I don't know how well it would do if you bring them back to life. Oh, I, I don't know. I played mm. Siphon Filter in the last three, four weeks, wow. and it's not held up as well <laughs> as I would have liked it to. What it if it had a stable frame rate and new textures? It is sluggy and hard oh, to control. But the one thing is, the best bit about it is shooting somebody with a taser so much that they set on fire. That is <laughs> not, enough games games games. Games. Yeah. not enough games Nowhere do that. Nowhere near enough games do that. But yes. that's a worry. Yeah, I guess we might have run over a little bit there, but there is just yeah. so much to cover True. in Sony's conference. I'm looking forward to Gex and and the gecko. We want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Stick with What Culture Gaming for more E3 coverage. As always, I've been Josh. I've been Scott. I've been Jules. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.